Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make striped patterns inside of Photoshop. Save those patterns for use outside of Photoshop so you can share with friends or just keep them for future use. And I'm also gonna show you how to style your patterns and save the style sets. And I'm gonna show you how to export your stripe patterns as digital papers as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to make a new document here uh, that is 75 pixels wide by 500 pixels high. Uh, I'm going to work at a resolution of 72, of course, if you want to print resolution 300 or more. And then for us, we're going to be working in RGB color mode. Make sure that your background is transparent. Now, just a word of caution here, a lot of times when you open this up, you're not going to see transparent. Make sure that you scroll in order to see these other options right here. A lot of times people don't see that, but it is very important that your background is transparent when you're making these uh, stripe patterns. So we're going to hit create. Now inside of this pattern, uh, we're going to be using a rectangle tool. Make sure that your fill is black. You don't have a stroke and we're going to make our first rectangle. Um, I'm going to make this about 45 wide. Uh, again, I'm working in the shape properties here. If this didn't pop up for you, you can just go up here to windows and make sure that properties is selected. So we're going to make this uh, 45 wide and 500 high. And then I'm going to put that in place right there. So this is going to be our first stripe style. We're going to go to edit, define pattern, and we're going to call this thick stripe. Okay, for our second one, we're going to make a thin stripe. So we're going to bring this down to 25 inches wide, and then we're going to save that as well. So we'll go back up to edit, define pattern. This time we're going to call it thin stripe. Click OK. And for our third style, I'm going to have this selected, this shape selected. I'm going to hold down the option or the alt key on a PC and I'm going to duplicate that. So this, this one right here, um, we're going to make 10 pixels and then our bottom, we're going to make 45 pixels. So we're going to make it pretty thick and then have our um, second line thinner. So I'm going to bring that over. Now this right here, this checkered area is the transparency in this pattern. So that means that anything that we put behind this is going to be visible through it. So we can uh, change the colors, add patterns, do whatever we want back here. So in essence, what we're doing is we're creating another stripe there. Uh, wherever you put this smaller line is just going to define the thickness of whatever line is in between it. So I'm going to put them fairly close together, um, but you can move this wherever you want it just to get the style that you're looking for. And I'm going to go to edit, define pattern, and I'm going to name this two stripe. Click OK. Now I'm going to add another stripe for our fourth and final style. I'm going to make sure that I have this stripe selected, hold down the option or alt key and duplicate that. And this last one, I'm going to make it five pixels. So it's going to be a very small line. I'm going to grab my second 10 pixel line, bring it a little bit closer there. Um, and then I'm going to move this smaller line out here somewhere. Okay, so now I've got three line, a three line pattern. I'm going to go to edit, define pattern, and then this is our three line, our three stripe pattern. Hit OK. So we have all of our patterns created. Now I'm going to come to a, this blank document that I created, and this is just a 1500 by 1500 pixel blank transparent document. This layer right here is going to be our solid color layer. So I'm going to make a new layer right here. This one will be for our pattern. And then this one right here is going to be a solid color. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a solid color. And this, having it like this is just going to make it easier to choose color. So you can go through really easily um, and choose a color rather than having to uh, come over here, choose a color, 
fill it in the background and do all of that stuff it's just really easy to to check out different colors here click ok so we have our fill color solid fill color here in the back and then this blank transparent layer we're gonna fill with our pattern now it's important that you don't use your blending options here so if I double click here I have my layer styles that come up so what I'm gonna do is come up here to edit and I'm gonna fill it this way so edit fill and I do want to fill it with a pattern um, and the pattern that I'm gonna choose is our very first our thick pattern that we created click OK and now we fill that layer here with this thick pattern I'm gonna make a couple or three two three more uh, so that we can fill these as well with all of our other patterns so this one we're gonna go back here and go do the same thing fill this time we're gonna fill this one with that thinner pattern or that thinner stripe the next one we'll fill this one with our uh, double stripe and then for the fourth one we're going to go back here edit fill and we're going to fill that with our triple stripe and there you go it's that easy to fill these with uh, with your patterns but uh, filling it in that way is going to make it a lot easier because now I'm going to close that off I'm going to work with this double stripe uh, now I can come in here uh, double click here on the side of this layer and I'm going to add some color so I'm going to add this this color overlay now I can leave it like this like a solid color and then just you know change the color here or I can um, also add a pattern so I'm going to do that add this uh, add this pattern right here and you can see that it's not showing up here that's because our color overlay the the blending mode is is normal what we need to do is make sure that that blend mode is that color that way we're only getting the color coming through and not us and, and not an opaque um, color overlay there so and you can change this uh, to whatever you want click OK and now you have a pattern overlay with the color overlay that's going to match whatever you put here in the background now another thing that you can do here is add a stroke so that's just going to give it a little bit more definition um, and the stroke that we're using here is a is a crushed uh, gold aluminum uh, and you can I have it uh, scaled way down to 5% uh, and my actual the width of the stroke is only 5 pixels so it's a very small um, but it does make a big difference so I'm going to change this color to maybe match that a little bit more. Now I've got this nice uh, layer style, but I don't, and I want to add it to the next layer here, but I don't want to have to go through and redo all of these things. So what I'm going to do is save these as a style and I'm going to make sure that this layer is selected. The way we do that is we'll come in here to the styles. If you don't have this here on the side, you'll just come up to window and make sure that styles is selected right there. And then I'm going to come to this little hamburger menu and I'm going to click on new style and I'm going to call that peach gold. Make sure that you include layer effects and that you're including layer blending options. Otherwise, that color overlay that we had the blending option uh, was color that would just be opaque so it's not going to work like that it needs to you need to make sure that your blending options are selected and that you're adding this to your current library click OK now you're going to see this uh, style that just popped up right here and I'm going to close that I'm going to open a new one and it's going to be really easy for me to just select this layer and then apply that same layer style Now I, I made one of these earlier so you can see right there um, I have it in this blue color so I can easily come in here grab that 
and click OK. And now I've made the same style, but in a different color. You can do that for all of your layers. You can either use or not use a stroke, change your patterns and do all of that stuff. So on this one, uh, for example, it, so these lines are very close together. So the stroke might be a problem here. So I'm going to um, grab that and you'll see how actually we'll just use this one you'll see how close that is together so you can remove that stroke and just keep the fill there okay so now what i want to do is uh make this a diagonal stripe it's going to be really easy just to um, turn this image and what i've done so i have i have this layer selected right here you press the letter V on your keyboard just to make sure that these handles come up. And when you see that little bendy double-sided arrow there, you can hold the shift key and then just drag that to 45 degrees. It doesn't look good and you have all of this stuff here. All you have to do is, is hold down the shift key and make it bigger. So now you, once you have this set and, and it looks good or you're happy with what it looks like inside of the canvas, don't worry about all of this stuff. When you save these as digital papers, that's all going to be trimmed out. So you're not going to see any of that. It's not going to make your image 10 times bigger. This is going to be a 1500 by 1500 digital paper. And all you have to do is go here to file, export. You can export it as a PNG, but PNGs are rather large files and especially for digital papers and backgrounds like this. So uh, you can just come in here to save for web and uh, choose something else, a uh, high quality JPEG and make sure your image height and width are exactly what you want. You can cut this down if you like and then just hit save. We're going to save it to the desktop. I had already saved one, so we'll replace that one. But we're going to come uh, to the desktop and you'll see the image there. So that is our digital paper. And we can use that. We can upload this to Canva or use it in PowerPoint, Keynote, whatever uh, it is that you're using um, as a design asset right there. So we've got that one. Now we're going to uh, come back in here and I want to show you how to save these patterns. Uh, just like we did the layer style. Now, let me go back to the layer style. If I wanted to save this layer style outside of Photoshop, I could do that easily just by grabbing, just by grabbing that layer uh, style right there and then hit that hamburger menu again and we'll save layer styles. And it's gonna save that style. So we'll, we'll call that uh, peach glitter and I'm going to save that to my desktop and now if I delete this and then I decide later on oh you know what I really do want that peach color I change it to this and I, I just like the peach color better uh, I'm gonna go back to the hamburger menu I'm gonna load my styles and I'm gonna go look for peach glitter and the file extension is an ASL file. So we'll click on that, click open, and now you'll see that I have that back here. Okay, anyway, let's go back to the patterns, um, saving the pattern. So I have all of these patterns saved. Now if I go in here to patterns, Okay, these four patterns right here, I have them saved inside of Photoshop, but if I update Photoshop or just something happens and I lose those files here, or I just don't wanna keep them inside of Photoshop, I can save them by going to edit, presets. I'm gonna to go to my preset manager and I'm gonna choose my patterns. You can do this, you can do it this way for your styles as well. You'll just choose uh, styles here and then grab the ones that you want uh, but anyway let me show you how to do it with the patterns because it's the same process so I just want to grab these last four that we just created I'll hold the shift key grab the first one and the last one and then 
hit save or if you want to pick and choose something then you can hit the command or control key and then just pick them like that so i want all four of these and i am gonna save this set and i had already saved them so i have the striped patterns there but i'm gonna call it stripes stripe patterns two and hit save i'm gonna save them to the desktop now if these get deleted i just deleted those uh, because I'm not using them anymore, but maybe I have a, some additional thing that I want to add to this project. So I'm going to load those back in really easily. I have my stripe patterns right here. And this is a, a pattern file, uh, PAT file is a pattern file for Photoshop. So I'm going to click OK or open. And it's just going to load those back in there. So now I have my patterns back. And I can also share those files with other people that are working on the same project that I'm working on. Or if I just want to share it with a friend who also loves Photoshop, I can do that as well. So if you liked the patterns that we created today, uh, I also created some phone backgrounds that I have available on the website for download. This is a free download and you can grab those there. And there are eight of them. So if you like this style, this glitter style, um, you can definitely download these phone backgrounds at prettywebs.com inside the shop. So you can grab those there. If you like this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe, share this video, and of course, go to prettywebs.com to get those free wallpaper downloads as well. We also have a whole collection of digital papers that you can download for free in our shop. So if you go to prettywebs.com slash shop, check those out there. Until next time, thanks for watching.